What's happening everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam and this is Van City Audi. We are at the new location of Ryder Performance because it's time for a turbo upgrade on my B9S4. I've chosen to go with the TTE 710 Hybrid Turbo from the Turbo Engineers. I have had a ton of success using TTE turbos in my RS3 race car, so why the hell would I go with anyone else? It makes perfect sense to stick with what you know and what has worked, so I'm really excited to see what this 710 is capable on my B9S4. So far with this vehicle, I've managed an 11.1 at 122 miles an hour at like 1700 DA and 82 degrees Fahrenheit, something. It was even hotter possibly. I don't want to wait any longer for the temperature to go down or for the DA to lower to get better results out of my vehicle with a stock turbo. So why not just put a better turbo in, one that can make more power, the one that can make more torque and go from there. I know I'll be faster and I'll definitely be having more fun. So in this video, we're going to be uninstalling the stock turbo. I'll give you a side-by-side -side comparison of the stock turbo and the TTE 710, then we'll install the 710, then we have to tune the car. Now, tuning the car will be a little different than normal because integrated engineering has done something a little different. I should mention I'm sticking with IE. I didn't mention that. Stage three ECU, stage three TCU from integrated engineering. But what they're asking customers to do is once they've purchased this software, I've already emailed them to let them know that I'm doing this install. And in turn, they are going to unlock lock the software for me because I've shared with them the hardware that I'm using. Now for those that are unfamiliar with the channel, I have chosen to go with all of the IE supporting hardware. Their intake, their turbo inlet, their intercooler, their downpipe, their midpipe. So I am full bolt on ready to rock and roll for stage three power. So now that they know that they have sent the tune that everybody else gets the stage three, there's a 91, there's a 93 and there's a 104 octane tune. Now I'm not upgrading the fueling at this point. We are just doing a turbo upgrade and at that point you can't push the turbo as far as you normally would be able to because it doesn't have enough fuel at this level. So that's what we're sticking with for now and I'm going to get out there and I'm going to data log it because that's something that IE requests from everyone going stage three. They want to make sure that their hardware and their car is working as it's intended to. So for the first time with you guys I'm actually going to share with you the data logging experience that I do after every install. The very very first time I get out on the back roads of Mexico and hit it in third gear go from 2000 rpm all the way up to the brand new red line of 7000 the first feeling of oh, pushed into the back of your seat with all this power and all this additional torque and then i have to send that data log into integrated engineering and they're going to let me know if everything looks good now luckily i am well enough informed that i know how to read data logs and i'll be going over it myself to ensure that the car is running as it should and then from there it's go time then we get out to performance test then we get out to the dyno then we get back out in quarter mile drag race we're going to have a ton of fun with this turbo making all this additional horsepower and torque so to start things off let us get the stock turbo uninstalled
Now that Kyle's removed the OEM turbocharger from the vehicle, we've put it side by side with this beast of a TTE 710. The first thing we did was measure the compressor. This sits at 48 mils for the OEM unit. And in this badass, it is a 66 mil compressor. Gonna be able to make a bunch more power. The other thing we have is this stock or OEM turbo inlet adapter. Now I had to pick this up from Integrated Engineering, but this allows the 66 mil size to fit onto that turbo inlet, which is what we're gonna need to make it run properly. We still have to swap over the diverter and some of the lines onto the TTE 710, but let's take a look at the hot side as well and take a look at the differences there. Here's the other side of the turbo and what it looks like with the OEM unit, a much smaller wheel than what you find on the TTE 710. They've certainly machined a bunch more out so they could fit a larger wheel on this side. When you look at them side by side, you can totally notice the size difference and just how much larger the TTE 710 is versus compared to the OEM unit. Taking a look at the outside of these turbochargers side by side, it appears like everything is pretty much the same. The only thing that we can tell that's a big difference and what's gonna make a huge amount of power is the guts of this turbo have been upgraded and that's why we're able to fit in that 66 mil wheel. Kyle has swapped over the turbo inlet adapter, the coolant line and the oil line. We're ready to get this thing installed and start making a bunch more power. Kyle has completed the install. I almost forgot to show you guys this before we tune the car. It has power, just waiting to flash that IE stage three. This is what it looks like, all fully installed. The TTE 710, ready to rock and roll. Let's get to flashing the car. Now at the beginning of this video, I briefly went over what it's like to flash this stage three software from IE. I'll give you a bit more clarification on that. There is an unlock file on the server already that will be available to you. You only need to flash that if you are not an existing IE customer. You will have reached out to IE already, told them that you wanna flash this stage three software. They will then get you to flash that software first to make sure your box code is sorted and ready to go. If you are already an existing IE customer, you can skip this first step entirely. You will not need to flash that unlock file. You're going to be able to flash the stage three stuff right away because IE will make it available to you. So I've already detuned the car to a 93 octane file. That way when I'm upgrading to a stage three file, I'm already on the right type of fuel and I don't need to blend my fuel as well as flashing the car. So this is for people that are not already on IE software. There's gonna be a stage three unlock file that says this is not a tune. Again, do not flash this file if you are already an IE customer. If you aren't an IE customer, you've reached out to Integrated Engineering and you've let them know that this is what you're doing. That way they know to unlock the appropriate software for you. By doing this, you are simply reverting your car back to stock and to get it ready for the tuning process. So now you've either flashed the stage three unlock file if you weren't an IE customer, or you're just ready to flash the car because you're already an existing IE customer. So you're gonna go into engine, then you're gonna drop down to stage three TTE 710. Now below that, they've unlocked the appropriate files and we're gonna be flashing the 93 octane file today. It shows you that it requires a minimum of a 93 octane file, a downpipe and that TTE 710, not to mention an air intake and intercooler are highly recommended. You also will need a stage three TCU file, which we're going to be loading up next. Now for the TCU, I have a stage two race launch loaded up. We're gonna need the stage three software moving forward. You're gonna go into transmission, then to stage three AL552. You have a few to choose from here. You have an aggressive launch, you have a race launch, you have a race launch for slicks only, race launch for slicks only with a launch control timeout testing. No idea what that is, we're staying away from that. Race launch for slicks only is what I'd use on track, but I'm gonna be testing on the street first. So we're gonna be using this race launch. 
all of these tunes now shift at 7,000 RPM, and each individual tune is going to launch with a different amount of boost and the amount of torque allowable. They recommend summer tires or slicks to use these files. We're done flashing the car and check that out. 7,000 RPM red line. This is gonna be fun. We're just cooking off a little steam here. Some of that excess coolant that leaked out while we did the install. Once that's cooked out, I'll get out to the back roads of Mexico and I'll perform my very first data log. You guys will see my very first impression as I floor it, go wide open throttle in third gear from about 2000 RPM all the way to that 7000 RPM red line. So I can send that data log off to integrated engineering and they can confirm that my car is working as it should. So I've driven around for about 20 minutes or so, laying into the throttle a bit here and there, but still no wide open throttle, just to make sure there's nothing weird going on. I don't hear anything strange. The first thing I hear though, is that TTE 710 sounds like a jet turbine, just like the TTE 700, 777, and what I've heard of the 855 and my RS3. These TTE turbos sound freaking badass. So I'm gonna make my way all the way down to Mexico and perform my very first data log for you guys to see. Here's what IE's data logger looks like. All of these values are going to be logged in this single pull, single gear. I will take this information, send it to IE, and I'll make sure everything's running right. Third gear, 2000 RPM. Here we go. Definitely source. Oh, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Woohoo. <laughs> Definitely making more horsepower. That's for damn sure. Definitely slower spool as well. You notice it takes a bit of time to get going. I'll review that stuff in the coming weeks. But there you have it, my very, very first data log, my very, very first third gear pull with this TTE 710 hybrid turbo from the turbo engineers utilizing integrated engineering stage three software for the ECU and the TCU. Stay tuned for more guys as I continue this build and I continue to have so much fun in my B9S4. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.